Fletcher. My name is Deborah Winslow Nutter. I am Senior Associate Dean at the Fletcher School, and we are here in Berlin with the Global Master of Arts program. And we are so honored to be here in front of the Brandenburg Gate with two of our most distinguished alumni, Ambassador Klaus Scharia and Ambassador Wolfgang Ischinger. And so I want to ask them, first of all, to say something about the Fletcher School and how it had an impact on their later careers. Klaus, you want to start? Okay. Uh, for me, it was a life-changing experience. I, when I had studied law before, and I must uh, honestly say I was not that delighted with law. I learned a lot, but I didn't really love it. And so I picked Fletcher because I wanted to know more about international affairs. And that was one of the best decisions in my life. I can second this. Uh, I wouldn't be here uh, if I hadn't had this opportunity uh, at Fletcher. And you mean by here at Allianz? and with the Munich Security Conference and having been ambassador to UK and the United States and standing here in front of the Brandenburg Gate. My, my own career was shaped uh, in a very unique way by this experience at Fletcher. Uh, I would not have ended up being uh, interested in diplomatic uh, international work without this one year, I only had one year at Fletcher, but it changed my life, just like it changed Klaus's life. We ended up pursuing parallel and very similar careers. Klaus was, I think, twice at the end of our career, my successor, both at, at, uh, uh, in, 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 in running in uh, very se senior positions, the German Foreign Ministry, and then, of course, also in um, being the ambassador in the United States. And if I'm correct, you actually met at Fletcher. That's true. Uh, Wolfgang and I met, believe it or not, two Germans interested in foreign policy. We met at the Fletcher School in Medford, Massachusetts in 1973. Now, for the audience, this is embarrassing because this is 40 <laughs> years ago. And of course, we look younger than we are, but we are older Absolutely. than we look. And so, but it was a great pleasure because we got to know each other and ever since we have stayed in very close contact for the last 40 years. So, uh, our relationship is also something we owe to Fletcher. If I could just turn a bit to this wonderful Brandenburg Gate, and if we think that the Fletcher School was founded in 1933, a moment in German history that probably most of us don't want to remember. but. Then again, right here, it was 1989, and I can remember watching on TV. I wanted to come, but I had young children. But everybody was climbing up on the skate. The Ode to Joy was, was playing, and the East was streaming into the West. Could you say something about that moment and what it has meant for Germany? Well, I think it is uh, for, for, for the German nation and for the citizens of this country, it was really practically a miracle. It was what everybody was hoping to see happen at some future moment, and all of a sudden it did happen. Uh, the fact that uh, we were we are now able to walk through this gate uh, without you know without uh, showing a visa, so to speak, uh, that this is one city again, that it is a a uh, splendid place for startup companies. It's a, it's a, it's an attractive international capital, uh, and of course the Brandenburg Gate uh, as as its central symbol. I think this is a. Uh, it's not only a great thing for Germans. I think it's also a great um, story of the German-American relationship because without strong U.S. support over uh, practically half a century, this development would probably not have been possible. And you just told me that Ronald Reagan stood on the other side of this gate and said, uh, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Absolutely. And also Absolutely. this gate. 